Okay, so stall out my new garage, new to me. Still don't have anything up. So I'm gonna do this on this little tool cart, rollaway tool cart. Um, unlike my other garage, there's no heat in this one, so I got this propane. Probably shouldn't do that. Uh, I got this propane uh, Mr. Heater. 60,000 BTU on high. Um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, all the reviews I read, some were good, some were bad. More were good than bad. And um, in almost all of them, they said heating a two-car garage, even an uninsulated one, which this is mostly uninsulated, uh, actually doesn't take very long, less than an hour. You can get it up to a real nice comfortable temperature and so that's what we're gonna do. Um, see how that goes. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it just yet but for for now I've pulled my car out and I'm just gonna set it on the floor there. Um, they just take these regular propane tanks and in fact um, I got, while it was out, you can't see it really but that's a filler gauge, right? Just tells you how much uh, propane is in the tank. Um, that Mr. Heater does not come with a fitting that goes on here. Instead, it goes inside. So if you unwrap it and go, hey, it doesn't have this outer. No, that's fine. It'll go in here. Piece of cake. Um, anyway, six bucks on Amazon. I got this one. I got one for here and one for my grill. For me, it's worth having because you know I can never tell when those things are about to run out of propane. It's a couple times I've had good steaks that I couldn't finish on the grill. <laughs> That's kind of frustrating. Um, here's a little bit of the what's the chart says. Okay, and those are about the hours people are saying they're getting with a with the propane on these things. Um, yeah, let me. So I'm doing this with my cell phone because I can't find my camera. In fact, I lost a lot of things during the move. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know if they fell off the truck or what. But So I'm replacing what I can when I can. Uh, so here's the... It says quiet. People are divided on whether how quiet it is, actually. Um, so I think they just mean it's quieter than their last model. I don't know. All right, hang on. Okay, so let's open that. And I think this is the hose because kind of, you have to plug it into an outlet, right? But I would imagine the the plug. And by the way, I, my ankle still is twice the size that one is, so that's why I'm not doing any videos really, except this sort of stuff. Um, so okay, so here's the regulator. You see it has that end on it, and that end will fit in there. There we go. It fits right in there. Um, it's reverse thread, I believe, so uh, just be aware. Because uh, there seems to be some confusion about whether they work with the, pro um, the, the grill propane tanks. They absolutely do. You just, I think people don't understand. Right, hang on, like. Okay, so that's all you get in the box. The instructions, which this is my first propane heater, so I will certainly read those. Um, especially if anything goes wrong. <laughs> um, so there's a handle you got to put on, right? And the heater itself. If you want a, any information, I don't know if that'll work. On YouTube or not, but there you go. Um, so don't put your hands here. <laughs> um, and there's a start button, the uh, high and low, uh, and it, it has. A, I think this is the one that has the automatic start. So if it senses the pi the uh, the uh, the uh, flames are gone, it'll try and reignite. So. Um, but don't quote me on that because I, I, I looked at so many of these I might be thinking of the wrong one so alright so I'll put the handle on put the hose on fire it up and uh, I'll come back once it's running 
Okay. It's a little noisy, I'm not going to lie. But, it's alright. I can't straighten that cord out, that hose out any, long, any further because it's so cold it won't expand. I did end up having to take this off because the gas would not go. Uh, so I'm going to take it inside, let it warm up and see if that fixes it. I think it might. I think that rubber is in there is just not probably too cold. You know, it's about 27, 28 degrees outside, so, but as you can see, it's going. And, uh, let's see. Okay, so it's still going an hour later. Nothing on the tank. It's not freezing over or anything. It's been on high the whole time. And we're just about 60 degrees. And this is behind and above the heater, so. So in front of the heater, in this area, it's actually probably 65 or so. Um, I'm gonna turn it down to low now and we'll just let it uh, maintain the temperature as good as we can. And this is, as you can tell, there's no insulation up there. And above the garage door, right here, you can see my hand, you can see there's like a half inch to an inch gap here. Um, you know, in some spots it's closer to a half inch, some spots it's closer to an inch, but you get the idea. There's air coming in constantly in there. And uh, like I said, you know, I'm going to insulate this eventually, but uh, I have to wait for my leg to heal. But. So, I'd say it does a pretty darn good job. It went from about 28 in here, 26, some 26 to 28 to 60 in just under an hour. So. I'd say that's pretty good, but it's a little noisy, I'm not going to lie, but let's turn it down, it does not decrease the noise, and the noise is largely the fan in the back, if they could find a way to deal with that, but, so I'll let it go on low for a little while and see what happens, I might just turn it off when I go in for a little while, but point is I can get it comfortable in here and warm enough to paint or stain or whatever fairly quickly so I'm happy with that um, since I can't put electric baseboards like I had at the other house I'm okay with this for now so later and uh, by the way the only way to turn it off is to unplug it it will stay running until you do that there's no on off switch there is an adjustment in the front to raise and lower it can't really see it sorry there it is and the hose connects to the back but again there's no on off switch so I just thought I'd point that out 